Hey Jeff, what was Marcus's uh, criticisms uh, and positives after your performance? He said the first ball was too short. <laughs> I told him it was cold. We were warmed up. Um, yeah, he was just giving me a hard time about that first throw, but uh, he was pretty supportive and he was happy with the job I did and, and he was proud. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes that's just uh, kind of the way it goes, um, whether it be, uh, you know, the, the play's called or kind of how it works out. Um, we didn't get a chance, I guess, to stretch the field as much as I maybe wanted, but that's what happens when you can throw it five yards to a guy like Charles Nelson and see him take it for 50. So uh, I can't complain, and we were getting in the end zone the way I wanted to, and so I was happy with that. Jeff, do you feel like this is your job to lose when fall camp begins? Um, I don't know if I'd look at it that way. Um, we still have a bunch of guys here that can play, and we're going to add one more in the fall. And I'm just going to go out there and compete and do the best I can, whether it's you know your job to win, lose, whatever people want to call it. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. He's much better looking. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all can agree Braylon is healthy and he's back. Um, he, he's been doing kind of that stuff all spring, and so it was really cool to kind of see him do it today. And then with Charles, we haven't been, we haven't been able to work with him as much. Uh, he's been doing a lot of defense this spring, and we kind of stole him on our team and said, hey, you might need to play offense too. And uh, he jumped in there pretty nicely. Sorry to interrupt. Travis Johnson is to your left for those who want to talk with him. Jeff, are you going to be lobbying over the summer to keep Charles on the offense at least a little bit? Of course. Um, me and Coach Frost will be leading that charge 100% this summer, and I think uh, today spoke for itself. Is there any way of identifying or, or pointing out some of those differences that you've seen with, with the identity of this team now versus you know what we saw last season around this time? Um, yeah, I think, like I said before, um, every year the Oregon offense is going to change a little bit depending on the people we have. And I think this year will be no different. Um, obviously, we, we don't have Marcus back, and we're, we lost you know Horonis up front. So we're going to change a little bit and adapt. And we have a lot of really good young skill guys that can do really special things with the ball in their hands. So I think moving forward, I think we're just going to try to get the guys and uh, get in the end zone. After today, do you see Braylon as somebody you'll have to beat out for the QB position? <laughs> I heard that the only person in stat line that was better was his, so I guess that's fair. Um, it's a little upsetting, though, because he used to give me a hard time all the time. Back then, all of us, he just didn't get let him play. And then after today, I'm sure he's going to be talking a lot. Jeff, right here in the middle. All spring, you've been working close behind closed doors. Uh, this is the one thing a lot of people judge you off of. Were there things in the previous 14 practices you did well that you thought today was a reflection of that that you kind of put mm -hmm. on display? Yeah, it's kind of hard. Um, you know, I think what he, Rob said nine pass attempts. So I mean, I, you know, we've all taken hundreds uh, this spring. So people are going to judge off nine. That's okay. Um, and you know, you're not live running the ball, so it's always hard to get a good gauge of that. And uh, but you know, overall, I think it went really well. Just we got in the end zone. Um, I think four out of the five drives, which is the goal. Uh, I'd like to maybe you know maybe have some you know get the ball downfield a little more, but that's not the way it works out sometimes. And as long as we're getting in the end zone, I was happy with that. Hi, Jeff. Good job today. Thank um, you. You've obviously spent a lot of time patiently waiting behind Marcus. And how hard has that process been for you? And what's the biggest thing you've learned? Yeah, I mean, um, this is, you know, going to be going on my fourth year, third or fourth year here, and uh, I still, you know, haven't started a game, and that's okay. I'm, when you're at a top ten program like this uh, and you have a chance to start for two years, I think that's more than enough. Um, and then being behind Marcus, a guy like that who I've been, you know, really close with for so long, it's, it's been a lot of fun, and I've been able to learn from him for so long that I can't complain. And one more, one more for Jeff. Can I, can I talk? I don't Jeff, Coach Helfrich praises you a lot for kind of having your pulse, the pulse of the team, maybe better than anyone. Do you think that you guys really understand everything you accomplished last season, or is it still soured by, a, by the loss of the, the last game? 
I mean, of course, that's what we remember. Um, we'll all remember that loss and how close we were and what could have been, I guess. But when you look back at it, um, we won a bunch of games. Uh, we lost early to Arizona. A lot of people, I guess, counted us out or whatever term they want to put on that. But we came back and won a pack, my first Pac-12 title here, which is a big deal, and got to win a Rose Bowl. And so I think there's definitely some really good things we can build off. But I mean, we're all going to remember that last game for sure. Hugo Amadi's in the professional. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you.